it is your girl Mirandy and I'm back with another video and I have another message for you guys today. I actually have quite a few. I know I said that yesterday, um, but I just didn't get a chance to record them all. I was getting revelations and then I just really wasn't feeling well. And so I just needed to take a breather, take a breath and get myself together so I could do what I need to do but um, have some messages for you the first one that I have here for you today is get ready for new birth get ready for new birth and so along with getting ready for new birth um, this is a good thing it's it's new beginnings it's a lot of amazing and wonderful things that are getting ready to transpire and happen and Heavenly Father had showed me last night in the dream he showed me new birth and new beginnings and new things getting ready to take place and this is something that you guys have been waiting for you've been praying for you've been hoping for and God is just like bringing everything together and so um, I believe all these messages like go together and they connect and they relate to each other but I'm gonna read you what he showed me in the book of Luke it was Luke 139 um, through 56 and so I'm gonna read it to y'all I was gonna write it down but I was like you know what I'm gonna just have to flip these pages in my Bible and read to you guys because I have so many messages I didn't want to write all of the um, scriptures down individually which I probably should just to have it in my notes but I just put like not the full scripture but each one he showed me so Luke 1 of 39 and so Luke 1 of 39 is when Mary visits Elizabeth and so now Mary arose in those days and went into the hill country with haste to a city of Judah and she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth and it happened when Elizabeth heard the greetings of Mary that the babe leaped in her womb and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. And then she spoke out with a loud voice and said, Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb. But why is this granted to me that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For indeed, as soon as the voice of your greeting sounded in my ears, the babe leaped in my womb for joy. Blessed is she who believed, for there will be a fulfillment of those things which were told her from the Lord. And so, because she believed in everything that God had told her was getting ready to happen and getting ready to come together, she was blessed. And so she was getting ready to birth something so amazing which was Mary was birthing Jesus and Elizabeth was birthing John the Baptist and so that is significant for the whole entire honestly Bible because prophecy was coming to pass by Mary and Elizabeth birthing what it was which were the the sons John and Jesus they were birth and so a lot of you a lot of you women here under the sound of my voice you are getting ready to birth something so significant that is according to the will and the plans and the purpose that God has ordained for your life before you were even formed in your mother's womb and this has to happen and has to happen and he's also reminded me and he said do not resist this do not resist the calling and the purpose and the plan and the will that God has for your life do not resist it don't resist 
his will. Don't resist his plan. Don't resist his purpose. Don't allow what things look like or what they feel like or what you've experienced in your past previously to not allow you to believe in what God spoke to you. It wasn't meant for anyone else to understand the revelation that God gave to you because God did not give everybody the revelation. He gave the revelation to you for a reason. So it's up to you to believe what it is that God told you. And I'm going to keep going because I want you to understand and there's something so significant about having doubt and having unbelief in God. And so I'm going to keep going because I have to read to you guys what ends up happening. Um, or I can just tell you if you guys keep reading and going along in the passage. Um, when Elizabeth was believing that she was going to birth a son and she was getting ready to birth John the Baptist, her husband, Zachariah, he actually did not believe. He did not believe that she was about to birth John. And because of his disbelief and him not believing when the angel of the Lord came and appeared to him, Jesus put him on mute. God put him on mute. Like, okay, since you don't want to believe in the will and the plans that I have and the things that I said that was getting ready to come to pass and the things that I said that I was about to do, then you know what? I'm going to put you mute. Or the Bible, it says in some versions, dumb. And so he could not even speak until Elizabeth birthed John the Baptist. And so I just want you guys to understand and to know the significance of having doubt, the significance of not believing, the significance in not receiving. You do not want to have any type of unbelief and his will and his plans that he has for you and the things that he told you was getting ready to come to pass whether that was through a dream whether it was through a vision whether you audibly heard what it was that he said that he was about to allow to happen don't allow anyone to hinder or to change your beliefs and what he said he was going to do what he said he was going to do and so i don't know who needs to hear this message but be ready for new birth um you can expect this heavenly father also um had showed me potentially this could be in the next nine days it could be in the next nine weeks or it could be in the next nine months um but keep a lookout for something getting ready to be birthed within that time frame that god is doing there's something so significant about the ninth hour the ninth month and i'm going to do another video regarding the ninth hour of what he showed me um it's a little bit different but they kind of do relate but i'm going to go into that in another video but ultimately i just wanted to say get ready for new birth get ready for new beginnings get ready for the things that god has told you that he was getting ready to allow to come to pass in your life for his will his plan and his purpose and so i don't know who needed to hear this message but i pray 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 this message blesses you i love you guys be blessed and i'll be back with another video elohim willing bye guys